Hey guys, this is Jessica Bennett, and I am here to share an instructional video with you uh, on a fiddle tune. And one of my favorite fiddle tunes is called The Butterfly. Um, I've had the opportunity to play this uh, multiple times, many times, um, uh, in an Irish group that I'm currently a part of. Uh, so this mm. is an Irish or Celtic tune, mm. um, and it's a slip jig. So you can play mm. this fast or slow. I'm going to play it for you now, uh, the way that I would normally perform it, right? So you're going to hear uh, a lot of things that are not printed in the music that I have below, right there. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, you don't have to play it like that to play this, this tune. So uh, anyways, and then also I am doing my own interpretation of Boeing's. Uh, and typically I'm staying true to um, slurring every three eighth notes. Um, soaring or hooking just depending on uh, what I'm doing there so all right here we go note is not printed and that's okay the last note is a D1 or an E uh, you could also probably end on a B but an E is a little more appropriate um, seeing that we are in E minor which is a friend of G major so it has that one sharp F sharp few key things to note uh, for violinist uh, or fiddle players uh, we have high twos on the G and D strings and then we also have our low twos on the A and the E string. So don't forget that because that really makes or breaks this song. Um, so anyways, all right, let's get started. So um, we have three lines here or three parts, A, B, and C part. Um, line one, one of the things that I like to, to point out in the beginning is that we can hold our, our first finger over our A and D string at the same time. Um, it's kind of like a, a work smarter, not harder kind of a thing. Okay, so we can just instead of having to roll it or pick it up and put it over, we can just leave it down. And that allows us to just keep our ones down and, and play all those notes around it. Okay, so that was that first measure B, E, G, E, F sharp. You can see again what I'm doing with my bows. So I'm, I'm slurring every three eighth notes, or hooking. Okay. The next measure is very similar. Uh, we're just doing a walk down on the D string. Instead of holding out the note F sharp, we're starting on F sharp and we're walking down the open D. So here's that second measure. So the first two measure, measures, excuse me, are already, um, they're very similar. They're almost alike. So let's play that together again. Keep that first finger down on those two strings, A and D. which this is a, a pattern that we will see through this tune and, and often through others, uh, it repeats. So measure three is exactly the same as measure one, so you already know that. So let's play the first three measures of line one. Okay, here we go. And... Nice. Let's try 
add that one more time. measure of line one uh, we're going up on the A string a little bit instead of just hanging out at B we're gonna go a little higher to D which is a three <clears throat> okay and that's a skip one two three okay good try that much again very nice and then next we just have a, a backwards uh, D major triad that's pretty easy to So that measure, that fourth measure. Good, let's try that again. Nice, all right. Let's put all of line one together. Here we go, let's do it slow. Here we go, set that B and E, okay? Here we go, one, two, three, ready. Let's go to line two. Line two has a lot of skips. Uh, we do have some walking up uh, patterns um, and walking down, but we do have skips. And one of the biggest skips is from B to D. That's what we just left off on, on uh, the, the last part or the last measure of line one, that B to D. You're going to see that coming up often now. Okay. So that first measure of line two, we have a skip from B to D. Then we're gonna walk it up on the E string. Make sure to keep that two low, all right? Gotta be right next to the one. One, two, okay? So here's that first measure. Nice, it's just a nice walk up on the E string. Skip, walk it up. Nice. Then on the second measure, uh, we're gonna we have a few more skips. Um, again, starting with that B to D. Now leave down your A one and just go over to E two. Open E. Now D B A. Okay, it's pretty easy to play. So leave down one. Go for two on the E. Nice. Now let's put those first two measures together. Nice. Let's do that again. Skipping first and then walk up. Walk it up. Skip. 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 Now the next measure is going to be very similar to, uh, not line, but measure, excuse me, uh, measure one on line two. Skip. Walk it up on the E string all the way now. Nice. So you get a nice little walk up. Okay. Keep that too low on the E string. Okay. Uh, we like to try to play high sometimes. High twos. <laughs> They'll get you. All right, so good. Okay, now uh, let's keep going. So here's the, the fourth measure of that line two. So what we have is almost a true walk down, but we have a skip. We're leaving out one on the E string. Skip to open. Then that three, one open on the A or D, B, A. Okay, DBA. All right, so let's do all of line two. Walk 
Now, let's go to line three. So in line three, uh, we're gonna hit over three strings, which are D, A, and E strings, okay? Now, I think the only note that you play on the D string is uh, G, which is D3. Uh, so, another kind of cool thing that you can do that's pretty simple is add a double stop. And I did this the first time I played it for you. Um, <clears throat> I added a double stop uh, to the first note of line three. Um, that's the first measure and in the third measure. So I'm just adding an open D to that. It makes it really fun and cool and it's, it's easy. So it's just an A1 and an open D. It's pretty easy. You can slide into it if you want to feel a little risky. Okay. Makes it sound like a real fiddle. <laughs> All right. So uh, here we go. So one, two, three. So you're just messing around with three notes there, G, A, and B. Okay. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Let's keep going. B for three. One, two, three. There's that. That uh, D to B scenario again. That skip just a little backwards. So let's try those two measures together. One, two, all on the A string we just have that one G now here's that pattern again where we uh, repeat the first and third measure so you already know the third measure which is really cool good now let's put uh, the first three measures of line three together all right here we go slow one two three ready go to our last measure uh, and actually the last measure we've already played this before uh, in line two measure two so you already actually know this skip to D skip to G E D B A good so that last measure again slow ready go all of line three now okay you're doing awesome all right here we go one two three ready go through the whole tune together slowly with repeats okay remember that last note is not printed but it is a D1 okay here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> Thank you. 
nice. All right, now uh, you may want to practice that a few times. Um, and I know this is a video, so you can stop and start whenever you want to. Uh, I do want to play a fast version of it so that you will have that and you can practice with it as well. Okay? All right, here we go. Let's kick it up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> so much for having me and it's been an honor uh, to teach you today. Take care and I'll see you soon.